Good evening, everybody. Um, yes, it's already evening time here in Missouri. Um, I have had some interesting questions. A couple of them were just so... How do I put it? Irate out there. Just like, I'm sorry. Um, you might think that things are, are wrong or aren't going to go the way I hope they go. I don't know what the future holds. Uh, for myself, for Jerry Ann, for everybody. Excuse me for a second. Um, it's not really up to anybody out there. It's between me, Jerry, and God above. And since both of us feel very strong that we are supposed to be RVing and having adventures and doing as much as we can for our bucket list until one of us goes. And that's all that matters to me. I don't care about what other people think when it comes to our personal adventures or our personal lives because it's exactly that. I'm just talking to you about, you know, what we hope for. And if you're going to come on my channel and be a negative nilly and try to tell me otherwise or um, verbally beat me down, well, guess what? Been there, done that. It didn't work back then. It's not going to work now. The only difference is I'm an adult. I know better. And I can always go, you know what? Bye-bye. I don't have to deal with you. It is my journey. It is Jerry Ann's journey. It's somebody else's journey. You're along for the ride. We didn't tell you. We didn't point a gun or, or force you to subscribe. You decided to do that on your own. Which basically means you, as a subscriber, can sit here and listen to everything I say. And if you want to reply, try to be as positive as possible. If you're going to be a negative nilly or tell me otherwise what I can and cannot do, which I hate, um, I'm not going to put up with it. I'm done being a doormat. I'm done taking everybody's, you know, demands, or decrees, or, oh, you're not going to be able to do that. You know, how do you expect to do that? You can't save money. You know, all that bullshit. You know what? Jerry Ann and I have been able to save money in the past when we wanted to. We've already got it set in, in our plans that as soon as the doctor tells her she doesn't need that brace on anymore, there's going to be three things that's going to happen. One, especially after the holidays, we're going to stop spending money on willy-nilly stuff. Two, we're going to start saving money towards an RV and try to see how long it's going to take for us to get enough money to put a decent down payment on. An RV. Three, we may or may not decide to just um, <coughs> try to rent an RV and see if it's up to our, you know, if it's what we can handle. Um, so, you know, we've already got our plans and we got our stages and we know what we're doing. You, who does not live in this house, or has access to our morning coffee conversations or our evening conversations about the future. You only get to see a small window of our lives. So coming onto my channel or even Jerry Ann's channel and trying to tell us how to live our lives or what we should or should not be doing, um, that's unacceptable. If you want to have conversations with me and Jerry and you keep it positive and upbeat, I'm all for that. But if you're going to sit there and be negative and throw in your negative comments or your rude comments or anything that just does not sit right with either one of us, we're not going to take it. Jerry's already started deleting people who want to be on her channel being negative and whatnot, I'm going to be doing the same thing. 
in fact, I've already been doing the same thing because yeah, I don't have to listen to your, to your rudeness. You might not think it's rude, but when you're actually telling people, you know, can and cannot do or shouldn't do or any of that kind of, any of those things, words, um, they're falling on deaf ears. And I'm not going to, I mean, no. The negative train stops here. And when it stops at this station, you're either off or you're quiet. There's plenty of negative negative channels on YouTube and the web. You can go to those channels and spew your negativity. Feed that fire because you know what? That fire, when it burns itself out, I'll still be standing. All right, let's get into the good stuff. <coughs> Sheila, or Shayla, I think it's Sheila. I went through this once before, it's Sheila. Haven't seen anything from her in a while. And if this is the real person, thank you for coming around to talk. Um, I do love both Shayla and Nellie. They have some interesting questions. And they're very positive, upbeat people. And I hate the factor uh, that Sheila... The original Sheila that's been with me since day one before I got monetized. Um, let's just put it this way. She has been, both of them have been very in, instrumental in um, helping my channel along in the beginning. And I'm, I'm really upset that um, I do believe it was Sheila. Um, stopped commenting or start, stopped coming around because there was too, too many negative people. Well, Sheila, um, don't worry about those people no more. Because my new rule, my ground rule, simple ground rule, don't come on here being negative and do not cause problems with my other viewers. Because if people cause problems with my other viewers, I don't care who started it. I really don't. But I'm not going to let it thrive. So, Sheila, please come back. I loved hearing your comments. I loved hearing and seeing you make comments. But you asked this one question. She wants to know um, how, to, how to get crystal healing powers. Well, there's at least three to four ways, maybe more, each crystal you choose, is you have to be able to choose it for yourself. Now, the best way to do it is when you go to a, a shop that sells crystals and whatnot. You choose which one appeals to you or calls to you, however you want to put it. And then if you pick it up and hold it for a little bit and you feel like a, a, a vibrational feeling through your hand because of the stone... And that's a stone for you. Um, that's one way to pick stones. You go to a, to a shop that sells, you know, specializes in, in metaphysical um, healing. And you look at the different stones. And if you don't know what you're looking for, like, you don't specifically know the stone you're looking for. But you need a, a, a you're looking for a stone that um, deals with whatever you're wanting to help with. Whether it's anxiety or nightmares or protection or any, anything like that. You can find a crystal for it. In fact, I would highly suggest that anybody who is wanting to get into crystals and happens to be new to the metaphysical world of, of natural healing. Um, pick yourself up like a book like this. Crystals for Beginners. And this book literally goes through and tells you all the information you need to know about the crystals. And it will also tell you um, the power. You know, they'll talk to you about the power of the crystals. And um, how, you know, the different types of uh, cuts 
or types of different crystals and minerals, whether they're, they're you know, talk about the different shapes, the differences between cut and uncut or natural versus tumbled or carved. Um, and it also talks to you about like um, crystal work horses. And these are crystals that do, that can be used with other crystals, um, like clear quartz. If you know, don't know uh, which crystal to get, start with a, uh, a clear quartz. It works with everything. Basically, the, the, the clear quartz is a powerhouse of its own. It can be used, um, like let's say you have a small bowl with a bunch of, um, bun uh, a bunch of broken up pieces of clear quartz, and you want to charge a different type of stone, you can put it into the clear quartz, and it will help amplify the energy of that particular stone. Um, then you've got smoky quartz, which is, um, let's see here. It is the crystal I, you know, the author uses the most because it's a manifestation stone and that converts negativity into positivity. So it basically transmutes negative energy into positive energy. Um, that's why I have one on my keychain I wear it to work with me. Um, so I don't have to, you know, so I can use that, that smoky quartz to change the negativity I find around me <clears throat> um citrine which it promotes self-esteem and prosperity then you've got rose quartz which supports all types of love including unconditional and romantic love then you have rainbow um fluorite fluorite excuse me not fluorite fluorite um and uh that's good. It, you know, it depends on intention. It promotes love and facilitates clean communication. Um, amethyst. Everybody knows what an amethyst looks like. It's a beautiful rock. Um, it helps you tune into intuition and guidance from a higher from higher realms, as well as the power of your dreams. Then you've got, and I can only I cannot pronounce this one. Carnelian, there we go, Carnelian, helps you set appropriate boundaries, have um, integrity, and be creative. Then you've got Black Tourmaline, is a protective and grounding stone, and keeps negativity at bay. Um, hematite, which I wear a, ra a bracelet of hematite, um, is for protection, grounding, centering and can also attract energies you'd like in your life and then turquoise now everybody who's from the southwest knows turquoise because a lot of the native americans the hopi and the navajo create necklaces and, and pendants and jewelry with pieces of turquoise in it and turquoise actually promotes luck prosperity and personal power those are your 10 heavy duty crystals that you want to you I would suggest starting with those. Um now as for getting the healing power, here's the one thing that is up for it it's kind of like one of the discussional things cuz some people don't quite understand. But every crystal, every rock, every natural element, I'm going to bring you a little bit closer to what I'm looking at. All these crystals and elements that I have over here, they all have a purpose. Each and every one of them has various um, pro uh, properties to it. Like I just read you about the top 10. The workhorses, amethyst, cr uh, clear quartz, rose quartz. Um, where's my smoked quartz? Smoky, where are you? Um, Nope, that's not it. Um, that's not it. I can tell it just by the depth. That's probably my Apache tier. Um, nope, that's clear quartz. 
I might not have one on this tray because it already is being in its place. But Smoky Quartz is, well, it's almost like a clear crystal, but it's a sm it's almost like regular quartz, but it has a smoky color, like Rose Quartz has a pink color. Um, but all these rocks have healing purposes. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there who are going to be like, oh, they're probably fake. They probably were not pulled out of the ground. They were probably manufactured in a factory. No. I can tell you that right now. Because the person I buy these from is a very reputable salesperson. Actually, I've got three of them that I know now. Two of them in Springfield and one in St. Louis. And I have not been steered wrong by these people yet. Um, the reason why a lot of crystals can be purchased smaller in shape like this beautiful piece of jade. Um, a lot of places will buy in mass their, their rocks. And a lot of them find that it's easier to sell cheap if the stones are um, in, in small pieces. Like for this piece right here, this is a piece of calcite. It's a beautiful piece of calcite. This crystal alone, this piece of calcite right here, the place I go to who chill who sells per decent prices. This was probably the most expensive piece I bought at like fifteen dollars. Um this tiger's eye I think was twelve bucks. But then when you get into the smaller pieces like This itty bitty piece of, I think this is, no, it's not what I thought it was. But anyhow, um, it looks like clear quartz, but I, don't, I can't really tell without bringing out my um, notes. This little guy right here, five bucks. So, depending on the stone, the size of the stone, and your retailer... Depends on how much you're paying for those. Now, let me push my camera back. Sheila, or Shayla. I think she said it was Shayla, but I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name if I did again. It's been a while. Um, to be honest with you, the, the pre-polished, pre-tumble stones are a little bit more little, not more, I should say, a little less expensive than, um, this raw piece of hematite. This raw piece of hematite on, and depending on who you go to, is less money than, than a polished piece of hematite. Um... No, this ain't hematite. I'm sorry. Is this hematite? He There's two stones that look almost alike, and that's hematite and um, the raw version of hematite, which I actually think this is, or... Um, not here. Sorry for the squeaky noise. It's one of my drawers. Yeah, okay. This is raw hematite. And this the reason why you can see, say that is if you look at it just right on a raw piece of the hematite, it actually glitters or has a reflective, not a reflective, but just the, the bumpiness of the rock while raw. Um, yes, this is it. 
Well, this is raw onyx. And if you look at raw onyx, uh, no matter how you turn and whatnot, even if they chipped it off of a bigger piece, it is smooth as can be on all, all sides, except for maybe where the cut might have been and they left a little bit of a, a mark or a piece of it removed. But this is onyx, raw onyx. And the other stone that I take some pride in because even though it came in with this kit, this is a chakra kit that I have down here. Let me just, this box is a chakra healing kit and it came with seven raw and seven polished. And the difference between raw and polished is that's raw onyx. This is polished onyx. It actually shaped like a heart. Um, I got this. The, um, let's see here. What was it? The raw onyx. The, the shaped heart, heart shaped onyx and a polished onyx. I give Jerry the seven polished chakra stones. Um, it also came with a rose quartz heart. And a amethyst heart. Now those three stones, once I get done categorizing them and, and marking them. And the way I mark them is I use a little bitty sticker to put underneath one of the edges or one of the sides. So I can look it up and go, okay, this is number 22. What does my book say what it is? But the chakra kit came with the seven chakra stones. And I don't remember what each one of, well, what each purpose is, but that's black onyx. Then it comes with smoky quartz. I wish I had a regular smoky quartz, but that, it does not look like smoky quartz when it's raw, but when you polish it, it would be. This, because it's got a lot of purple in it, is raw amethyst. Almost looks like a tooth. This if I remember correctly, is aqua marine. Then we have, um, what to call it, what is this? I think that is rose quartz. Clear quartz. I'm gonna hold this up for a second. I'm gonna let you guys look at it and see if you can guess what it is. It took us a while to figure it out. I'm not going to say what this is. I want to, I want, I want people to guess at this before I give them an answer. Because a lot of people don't know what it is. And when I first looked at it, I was like, what is that? And then once I scanned it and looked at it through my, um, I have an app on, on my phone for information on different rocks. So you can scan your rock and it will tell you what it is. Again, I have, I have not fully answered Shayla's um, question. How do you get crystals healing powers? Okay. You don't have the healing power. The crystal does. On. Er, put you back over here. And this is one of those things where the combination of believing that the crystal you have, or ha or crystals you have, actually have healing ability. Now, the ancient Chinese who were the people who discovered chakra, something tells me I'm gonna need to get a mini screwdriver for these, found out that certain stones and certain parts from the crown to your root, which is basically your tailbone, if you place certain crystals along those points, they actually help with realigning your own energy. Now, each crystal, like I was saying earlier, each crystal has a property. And it, if you follow the, the properties and whatnot, and you use the properties properly, I gotta get a better pair of glasses if I don't have them in here. This arm feels like it's about ready to come off with the screw. Um, like for instance, I'm just gonna 
I just barely started categorizing these. So like the clear quartz. The clear quartz is an ampli amplifier, which basically means it could be used if you place it on the crown chakra, which is your forehead. Um, it basically helps with meditation. Um, if you take a group of quartz crystals that have points that are basically, um, and I don't have any of those yet. But if you get um, a bunch of quartz crystals and you line them up a certain way in a grid pattern or the different grids that you can use the crystals for, it will help you with different energies. It will, but not different energies. I'm sorry, let me take that back. If you put them in a grid pattern with a different crystal, let's say I took a line or a what looks like a half circle or a loop. Um, and at the end of that loop was, let's say, an amethyst. Um, those quartz crystals are, are supposed to, according to my research, amplify the energy of the amethyst. It's a master tool. Um, it says here, right here, I wrote it down. Amplifying the properties of all other crystals connecting to the divine and high, higher consciousness working through all conditions master helper protects cleanse and purification amplifying energy and thought um, clar clarifying thoughts and beliefs balancing mind body and spirit improving connectivity um, basically you can use a quartz crystal and um, put it on the proper chakra point, which is your forehead, your crown. Um, a lot of times when um, chakra uh, people who do crystal he healing, they'll take um, seven crystals and align it, each crystal of a different color or, or purpose, along your spine from like the crown, which is more like in this area, and then down through the spine. And if they're aligned properly with the proper energies or proper usage, it will help your mind, body, and spirit connect. So you won't have, so hopefully you won't have as many physical ailments or mental ailments or your spirit connecting to um, whatever you want to call the higher power, whether it's God, whether, you know, it, it's basically supposed to help you um be able to hear messages from god himself or if you're not a, a christian whatever you believe in um works with all other crystals because it's an amplifier um usage tips use a cluster of clear quartz points to cleanse other stones safely and effectively so if you had like a bowl with a bunch of um, the uh, coarse crystal points, um, I can try to find it in my book over here. Uh, come on, I know you showed it. Where is points? Points, points, points. It tells you point where what points are. Anyhow, it's a it's a it's a elongated crystal that's been um, the the ends have been shaved or or however you want to put it to look like two points, one in on each end. Um, as for the healing power, like I said, the healing power is within the stone. Um, it is believed by a lot of people, even some scientists, that crystals have its own energy its own harmonization to the to the universe or to the planet or whatnot and if you use it properly it's supposed to help you heal um and it, it i got a couple crystals that i got for anxiety i got crystals for you know better sleep um i haven't tried them yet 
honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't fully tried everything because I haven't gotten them categorized. Um, but each stone has a different energy. And that energy is what's part of the healing. So it's not like you're taking the healing of, from the stone. The stone is actually helping you heal. But before you can use the stone, you have to go through a cleansing process. And there are three ways to cleanse your crystals. One, the best way, it, well, there's, I'm going to list them best to worst. The best way is, unless you, wanna, unless you don't want to wait for a full moon, is to put them on a wooden or stone tray and set them in your windowsill on the side of the house that faces the moon. Or if you've got a place in your, in your home, like I do, where the moon crosses over your, my house, and at this time of year, the best place is my Arcadia, you know, in front of my Arcadia door. And since I don't have a cat or any other animal to mess with them, I don't have to worry about them. So I put them on my wooden tray and put them on the floor. Um, I make sure that I have an object to, to keep the curtains from blocking the moonlight. And the moon, is a, a full moon, is supposed to help cleanse and energize your crystals at the same time. Um, when we did this batch of crystals, we, um, Jerry Ann had her own tray and I had this tray and, um, I propped an object behind each tray to keep the curtain from blocking the moonlight, but it was a super moon that just passed in, in August. Um, that's one way. The other way, which a lot of people prefer because you, you don't have to wait for the full moon is get your, sorry, this drawer is needing candle wax rubbed on it. Take um, a bundle of sage. You can buy these at any metaphysical store or you can harvest your own sage if you grow it. Um, but take a bunch of white sage. White sage is the best. Um, of course, take it out of your package. Light the tip on fire. Uh, light the tip with a lighter. Wait until it starts to smol smolder. Um, blow out the flame and let it just smoke because that's what it will do and try to put your sage next to your crystals or wherever your crystals are and let the smoke blow over the crystals that will help cleanse and purify them um, as well as give it some not that much but it will you know at least cleanse and purify your crystals the other way which I'm finding very harmonious um, is if you can get yourself a little Tibetan singing bowl. That's not how you make it work, though. That's just a good way to start it. Take it, the mallet that usually comes with it. Some, you can get bigger ones. Um, and you just tap it and just... Whoa started pushing too hard but you do that for a little bit and the sound is supposed to help cleanse and charge them at the same time um and then once you do that you can either a just put your crystals around the house as the core but they still give off their energies um b do what me and my wife are going to do well jerry's already done it she's taking the she got a whole bunch of these, what they call stone um, holders. Basically, they look like a big, you can wear it as a necklace with the stone. If you feel that you need to wear like, especially smoky quartz, because smoky quartz is, is desi its purpose is to take negative energy and transform it into positive energy, um, as well as protect but you notice this end's got this little pouch. So you draw back the um, bead. You find, yeah, open this up. Some, Jerry, will, Jerry, Jerry cannot do it for me. I have to do it myself. And I'll explain why here in a second. But you open it up. You find where the opening is. You try to get your crystal in the little pouch. That's what this is. And bring the bead back down to hold it in place. 
um, what she did was she got a bunch of crystals that was suggested to her for cancer. Not just because her birth sign is cancer, but because she has cancer. And she took a, a bunch of these, put the different stones in one after she, she uh, charged them. Tied the end, you know, tied all the ends together into one big knot. And then take the knotted end, put it in behind your headstand or your, not your headstand, your headboard. And let them just sit above your head on the headboard. Or if you don't have a headboard, you can, if you're not under a window, you can tack it to the wall. Either individually or one big giant knot worth of these things. Um, there are crystals for giving you better rest. Crystals to protect you from nightmares or negative energy at night. Um, it really depends on what you are trying to do with the individual crystal. Um, but also one of the things is, is you have to be open-minded. If you're not open-minded to try something like this, it's not going to work for you. Um, second off, you have to be... I, I don't say you have to be a believer... Um, but it does help to believe that, that the God-given gifts of nature, these different crystals and whatnot, are designed for the purpose of healing and, and welfare. Well-being, not welfare. Well-being and whatnot. Yes, there are crystals for prosperity. There are crystals for... Um, I hate to say this on the camera. But there are actually crystals to help men with their libido. Um, there was one, so, there was a person who was joking about, is there a crystal to, you know, that you can use it at your job for, I don't, I can't remember what the, what the question was or whatnot, but, um, yes, there is. If I wanted to, see, I carry a smoky quartz on my, um, on my keychain. Because the smoky quartz is supposed to help um, trans transform the negative energy and whatnot that might surround me at work. Or maybe even coming off me. Um, it's supposed to take that negative energy and tra transform it to positive energy. Um, the lady who wrote this book has all different, like, she has a couple comments about, you know, I do this or I do that for whatever purposes. And I'm like... Sweet. You know, she just, she didn't write the book just for the, the, you know, the fun of it or for the financial aspect of getting royalties from her book, but, um, I read the book. I've read most, just about all the way through. In fact, yeah, I'm at that point where they just, um, talk about the different, um, settings. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and hope my glasses worry about my glasses, but I've got enough of them. Um, where I am at right now is what they call um, crystal prescriptions. Basically, it's if you have an issue, there's different patterns of using or laying certain crystals in a certain pattern to help you with, you know, like this first one is abuse. And it tells you the different crystals that are good for um, warding off abuse of people. Um, like the stone itself. The main, the main stone to use is called carnelian. And you put that in the middle of a group of other crystals. And it's supposed to help you um, ward off of abusive uh, relationships. Um, the focus stone, which is a big... The big one in the middle is a black tourmaline. It's for security, safety, absorbs negative energy. The other stones um, around the first perimeter are supposed to be um, cat, uh, citrine for self-esteem, rose quartz for self-love, and a carnelian for personal power. Then the outer perimeter is supposed to be all of, um, what was it, one, two, three, four, five, six, six clear quartz for magnifying the energy of all the other stones. Um, 
They've got one for addiction. And this is more of a chakra. Hematite. Hematite, which is one of the bracelets I wear, um, is basically, it's actually helping me control some of my addiction to soda and junk food and whatnot. I don't have it on right now. Um, but they're talking about, you can also use amethyst. Amethyst is known as the sobriety stone. So if you're an alcoholic and want to, um, if you're like part of AA or any of those programs for um, that kind of addiction, um, you might want to get a, I wouldn't say get a piece like this, but if you get a, piece like this, I think that's amethyst, and put it in one of these and wear it around your neck, maybe it will help you, you know, help you fight against the, the addiction, whether it's alcohol, soda, candy, cakes, drugs, um, everything, everything can be an addiction. Video games can be addiction, things like that. Um, and then of course they tell you about how to put, what stones to go wear for, let's say, a chakra session or a layout. Um, and I found out when I was reading something that when you go to do a chakra lay, um, it does not have to go onto a person. It can go on that little, uh, that little kit that I showed you earlier. Um, it has a mat for chakra. And you can lay the stones on the mat with maybe one or two other stones for amplification. Um, that's up to you. They've got a layout for anger. Um, and they've got like, okay. Malachite, which is a type of stone. I don't think I, it, I don't even remember what it looks like. But that's something you can wear around your neck in one of those things are put in certain locations in your house to basically absorb any anger energy or, or negative energy. Um, then they've got like red or black jasper. And then a configuration. Circle configuration with the focus stone being malachite or malacite. Now, so, not sure, I don't know, I can't um, pronounce it right now. I think it is Malachite. Um, it's to absorb anger. And then you put that in the center of a rose quartz um, circle. Now here's one, here's one I'm probably gonna try to use, and that's for anxiety, you know, and the mantra, if you do mantras, is I am peace, which is like, okay, yeah. And um, they say to use amber or sodalite. Or the third one is lavender, essential oil, and amethyst. And there's no circle pattern or anything like that. It's just the different stones or different things to use. Then there's balance. Boundaries, if you need to find a way to set up boundaries because of um, abusive relationship or, uh, or a relationship that maybe you're just starting a relationship and you want to set certain boundaries. Um, turquoise is a good one and Labradorite, which is another one that you can use um, in a pendant or necklace or something like that. Compassion. A lot of us need that. Uh, rose quartz, um, aquamarine or oh, um, pirate pi. I can't even pronounce that one, but it's a meditation. And then they've got one for courage. Let's say you're going for a new job interview or something like that and you want to create courage in your life. 
you can wear, you can either use or wear a, something, um, whether it's rope necklace like I have or like that with a piece of citrine um, or a piece of aquamarine or, and they got a courage grid. It's a scare, uh, it's a square with Amazonite, which is, I guess, um, that's your focus stone that needs to go in the middle. Then the first square, um, you put aquamarine in two corners and citrine in the opposite corners. And then on the outer perimeter is, of course, quartz crystal for amplification. But they've got all kinds of different, like, patterns and formulas and different things to use crystals for, for different emotions or issues that you may or may not have, or, you know, okay, this is for dealing with negativity. Hmm. Smoke quartz, which I have on, on me, or you can get a, you can buy a hematite ring or a Himalayan salt lamp. Now I know why so many people like those Himalayan salt lamps. It helps combat negativity. Patience. Prosperity. Re how to ward off regret or how to deal with regret. Okay. Rose quartz, smoky quartz, and it's a triangle or triple, no, double triangle setting. It connects mind, body, and spirit. Focal stone is the smoky quartz. Interior stones are aquamarine. And then outer perimeter is, of course, oh, black tourmaline to absorb negativity. Anyhow, um, the other thing that I read, and, ooh, 47 minutes. Um, the other thing I read was, to, there's a way to program, <laughs> program stones like computers. Um, basically, I'm going to use my, my black, um, onyx worry stone. Take your, your crystal or stone that you're wanting to program. And what you do is you take this stone, put it in your dominant hand. Since I'm right-handed, this is my dominant hand. While you're holding on to it for two minutes, during that two minutes... You think about what your intention is for this stone. Now, since it's a worry stone, I automatically know what the intention is. Is to get rid of all my worries. So while you're holding on to it, you can close your eyes. Focus on your intention for the stone. And what's supposed to happen is while you're focusing on the, the intention of the stone... You're supposed to imagine the intention running through your neck, down into your arm, through your arm, up to your hand, and into the stone. Now, you're supposed to do that for two minutes. And during that time, and you don't have to ha have your hand tightly closed. You can just ha have your fingers wrapped around the stone. And, you know, don't, don't cut off circulation on your hand by squeezing the thickens out of the thing. But you'll know when it's programmed or set because you'll start to feel like an energy flow from the stone. You'll feel a pulse or it could be anything from an energy pulse to tingling sensation in coming out of the stone, not your over-squeezed hand. Um, but you'll know because you'll feel it once it's been programmed. And once you're done programming it, you can just put it off their side and... Anytime I feel like I'm overly concerned or overly worried, I can pick it up and hold on to it and rub it like you're supposed to, like any worry stone, and it's supposed to do its magic. 
Same with any of the other stones I have. I can take all the information that I write down from this book. I can I can start to categorize, you know, put little sticker numbers on there to categorize it. And then I pick, you know, I just, some of them you don't even have to program. Some of them are just instantaneously programmed because their exact purpose is built into the substance or whatever that it's made out of. Now, I wanted to say DNA, but that would be wrong for stones. They don't have DNA. They're made out of materials. But it's, that, it's pretty much that simple. But if you get a book like Crystals for Beginners, it will tell you everything you need to know on how to cleanse them, charge them, what each individual stones are, are good for. Um, you can go on to, you can, you can walk in any metaphysical shop and say, hey, I don't know exactly what I need, but I am looking for crystals to help me combat, you know, maybe you're combating anxiety, maybe you're combating... Um, the loss of a loved one, um, a bad relationship, things of that nature. And if you've got a good, uh, a good person in in the shop that knows what knows the stones and know what each stone is meant to do, they'll help you out and get you hooked up with the right stones. Um, speaking about hooked up with the right stones. If I knew I was going to be answering this question and, and talking this long, I would have had the information with me, the, the, the business card that I was given. Jerry would know better than I am. She's better with uh, that kind of memory. But um, there's a shop, if you live in Missouri, I live near Springfield, Missouri, <coughs> there's an actual uh, metaphysical shop that is off the beaten track, and um, they deal primarily with the rocks and metaphysical teaching as well as, whether you believe it or not, Torah, 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 Torah cards, um, divination, whatever you want to call it. I'm not big into that um, for a lot of different reasons. Uh, sometimes I'm disappointed and sometimes I'm just kind of like, um, yeah, okay, somebody knows me better than I do. Um, 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 the other place in Springfield that I go to is called Renaissance. Renaissance, they're on, on East Mon Monteclair, um, 1337, East Monteclair, um, Springfield, Missouri. And then it's just called Renaissance Books. And they have everything in there from crystals and stones to all kinds of, of different religions, yoga information, um, Basically, if you're into metaphysics uh, or yoga or your well-being, um, Renaissance uh, Books in um, Springfield is a good place to go. Um, another another thing I would suggest, and um, her name is... Oh, God. Uh, I forgot her name now. Blue, 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 blue. Um, we just call it, oh, blue. Uh, no. It starts with a B, I think. I can't remember the person's name off the top of my head because it's getting late. It's almost 9 o'clock. I need to go to sleep. I've been doing this for almost an hour, and I apologize. So... Hopefully I answered your question, Shayla. Hopefully, I probably gave you way too much. I probably, you know, you probably got a, 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 a lot of information that you w weren't expecting or something like that. But hopefully I, I answered your question um, well enough. <laughs> I know sometimes when I get excited, I'm like, ooh, somebody wants to know about it. And I just, 
if it's in my wheelhouse, if I, I will talk about what I know. Um, right now, what I know is what I read out of this one book. Anybody can go pick it up at Amazon. Um, it's probably cheaper through Amazon than trying to go get it at um, Barnes & Noble or any other bookstore. It was... Well, the price on the back of it is fourteen ninety nine. dollars um, I think I got it for less um, when I um, got it through Amazon, but I don't remember. Um, I've actually had... Um, yeah, sources for information, crystals and whatnot. They have, a, um, like, she's got five different um, websites to buy crystals and, and such things. Then she's got a couple books, and then she's got um, a couple apps. So, um, that's in the back of her book for sources. Then, of course, she's got a very small um, glossary. But she literally goes through and tells you about the different crystals and then how to use them and what patterns you can um, put on a cloth or anything like that. And so I'm, I'm happy with this book. But anyhow, I'm going to let you guys go because it is getting late. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or positive comments, go ahead and put them in the comment box. I will um, get to them as soon as they start flowing in tomorrow morning or whenever. Um, if you're not a subscriber and you want to subscribe to hear more on... Crystals, Vikings, um, nor, nor, um, well, yeah, Crystals, Vikings. I read from the Bible on Sundays. Um, I talk about nature. I spent two different summers in Yellowstone National Park. Uh, my father was military, so I've seen Germany first hand back in the early 80s before the wall came down um i'm just kind of i've got a lot of different subjects i'm an all-around kind of guy who likes a lot of different things um my wife asked my wife asked me to do a video on how i make her oatmeal in the morning um and what all goes into it so that will be tomorrow's video or part of tomorrow's video. So anyhow, like I said, if you're interested in the things I've just mentioned, um, go ahead and subscribe if you want to. And once you do, a little bell will pop up and click on that bell and YouTube will let you know when I put in a video. So until next time, you guys have a good day. Bye.